Akhil, thank you for joining us today. I'm happy to be here. Right. Uh, so, can you tell me, uh, first of all, can you just give us a brief introduction about yourself? Okay. Hi. Uh, I'm Akhil. So, I joined the Java Institute back in 2012 uh, while I was doing my A-levels. Then I started off with the JSAD batch and then I did the Oracle for CPJP in 2013, uh, right before my A-levels. And then I completed my levels, and then I went on to do uh, OCE WCD uh, in 2014. And then I continued with the degree at Java Institute. And in 2015, I saw a job opening at PICME, uh, Sri Lanka, uh, and I applied for it. And I got an opportunity to go for the interview. I did the interview, and I got the post as a trainee and right engineer. Uh, so I worked as a trainee for about six months at PICME uh, while I was studying at Java Institute. Um, so I was working on, so at that stage when I joined PICME, they did not have a product in production. They were still a very early stage startup and we were working on the passenger and driver apps. The driver app was in progress, the passenger was uh, not started, so my responsibility was to build the passenger app and deploy to production within a few months because PICME also wanted to go to market very quickly. Um, yeah, so I was working with another Android engineer on the team and they also had QA, iOS engineers and so on. Um, yeah, so six months in, we launched the product and uh, I was promoted to a regular, uh, sorry, a junior software engineer, junior Android engineer. So I spent about four years at PICME. By, the four, by my fourth year, I was a senior Android engineer. And the whole time I was working on the Android passenger app. I've also worked a bit on the driver app. I've helped out a bit on the driver app, on the Android driver app. And I also got an opportunity to work on some side projects within the company. For example, one of my projects was doing a load test for a database and server migration. Uh, I found that project very exciting because it was a simulation. I had to simulate the passenger and driver system um, so that we can load test our servers. So if my manager or my architect wants, let's say, 5,000 passengers, 5,000 drivers to load test the system, I need to simulate that in a virtual environment. Uh, basically, it's just calling, uh, uh, it's just simulating the driver and passenger apps to load test the server. So this was an exciting project because we had to do it late in the night and then I had to spend the whole day at the company and then go back home the next day. Yeah. So it was uh, a fun experience. Also, I got a lot of uh, opportunities to learn there. Um, yeah. Uh, so I was doing all this while studying at Java Institute. I think the lecture panel at Java Institute was also very inspiring to me because when I first joined the Institute, I met lecturers like uh, Mr. Nirodha, uh, so, and a lot of young lecturers who were engineers in the industry. So that was very motivating for me and also inspiring. So which is why I wanted to continue at the Institute, at the Java Institute. And uh, yeah, um, today I am working in Singapore. I'm working for a company called 99.co. It's a property portal. Uh, I have the opportunity to work with an international team, so engineers from all around the world. And yeah, so far I uh, yeah enjoy what I'm doing, and I'm uh, happy to be here. Yeah. So that's that's fantastic to uh, hear about your story. So can I ask how old were you when you when you uh, joined PickMe? Uh, I joined PickMe in 2015, so I was 20 years old when I joined PickMe. Then I moved to Singapore at 23. I see. Yeah. So I think not many people can say that they have been at a company like Pick Me from the very start and uh, have been so instrumental in the initial stages. So that is quite an achievement. And uh, from what I understand, you have achieved a lot in a very short period of time. So uh, can I ask how did you find out about the Java Institute? Um, so while I was doing my A-levels, my parents, they were looking for a place for my higher education. And then my father told me that 
there's this institute called the Java Institute. I think he found it uh, when passing by Tumula Junction. He saw the board at ja- Java Institute. And I think he has also heard a few of his friends mentioning the institute, Java Institute. So that is when we thought, okay, we can go and try. And Java Institute also had the weekend courses for OC, OC, uh, sorry, JSAD and OCPJP. So I could do it while I was doing my A-levels. Yeah. So uh, that was a fortunate thing that your father had come across uh, the institute in such a way. Yes. Right. So uh, can you tell me a little bit about your, you, you mentioned a little bit about it, about, about your experiences with the, the lecture panel and such. But uh, looking back as your time, at your time as an undergraduate, uh, what are what are the experiences that come to mind and what are the things that you feel that you gained during your time as an undergraduate with us okay um i really in, like the way the course is structured the okay so there's two things which i learned one is the practical side of engineering the other is the theoretical so when it comes to the theoretical side of uh programming and let's say for example ocp jp the i found the course content well structured and easy for me to grasp the knowledge because uh the course is also structured in a way that it takes the students uh, step by step um and on the practical side example let's say jsad uh where we need to build a, a real world application and if we can we need to try to put place it in production uh, find a client and see if they are interested in the product so i think this is a good opportunity to learn about the real world aspects of software engineering um for the web uh, course i spent about 6 months to 1 year building a e-commerce application and i learned a lot uh, a lot about uh, web programming uh, back end programming and so on um so by the time i graduated i had already built applications or real world applications so it was much easier for me to go into a job and start working akil i learned something interesting that you uh, completed your ocp jp uh, qualification when you were just 18 years old now uh, as i understand ocp jp is a, a professional qualification that much more senior uh, software professionals take at a later st- st- stage of their okay i'll go back to that so so as i understand this is a qualification that uh, most software professionals will take later on in life but this is something that you achieved at a very young age so can you tell us a little bit more about that okay i think uh, when i joined the institute something which inspired me was as i said the lecturers when i saw that the lecturers were qualified with these qualifications i also wanted to take them then the second point is i found the course content and the course structure easy to follow and uh, also i was able to grasp the uh, the concepts uh, easily because the course itself was structured uh, well for students um since i had already started the course i wanted to continue and uh complete the exam in or during that session uh which is why i spent a lot of time i i got the ocp jp the official book and i also went through the book and i studied i took some time off just to study the book and in addition to the course content at java institute uh when i was confident enough to take the exam i also did a few mock exams which was uh, provided in the book i think Uh, once i felt confident enough i thought okay why not just uh, take the exam and try and my parents were also very supportive they were able to pay for my course fee and so on so yeah so it's a credit to you uh, and your uh, abilities as well it's just uh, that's great good to hear so akil uh, now looking back at your career so far you've come quite a way So uh, what are your thoughts on your achievements so far? Um in my career so the reason I took on software engineering was because I wanted to build something that 
or build uh, systems that are useful for our communities. And then when I got the opportunity as PICME, I felt that I was very fortunate and I was grateful that the company was also aligned with my interest and I wanted to help the company to build these products so that they can uh, so the aim of the company is to revolutionize the transport industry in Sri Lanka and I was very passionate and I was excited to be a part of that journey and to uh, contribute to these systems uh, for new graduates what I would uh, uh, say is uh, to build a Um, to try to work on products that are beneficial for our communities that can help people with improving their lives and lifestyles. Um, also, uh, when you're starting out, when you're starting uh, your undergraduate or in your career, I would say that time is a very valuable thing. For me, it was, for me time was one of the most important things. If I uh, so back when I was studying and doing uh, working at PICME, I barely had enough time to just uh, spend around because I was already fully packed with work and study. But that is also partly the reason why I was able to get to where I am today. Um, and the reason why I was able to do that is because I was passionate about what I was doing. If I did not have the interest in software engineering or if I did not have any interest in the work I was doing, I wouldn't be able to take that time or put in that amount of effort. So the learnings for me is one, um, focus on building things that are useful and beneficial for our communities. Two, time is an uh, important thing. Please, yeah, I would say do not waste your time. Just uh, try to utilize, utilize your time as much as possible. For example, for me, I used to go to lectures, then I go work, and sometimes I spend the night just studying, uh, and which, which I could at that time because I was young and I had fewer commitments. So yeah, time is a very valuable thing. The last point I want to say is to follow your heart. Like you need to follow and do something that you are passionate about instead of doing something what others just want you to do. Let's say if you are really interested in software engineering and you're passionate about it, then yes, that is uh, something that you should, uh, that I would say that you should do. Because only when you're interested and passionate about the things you're doing, then you can make an impact. Then you can have a positive contribution in uh, your field of work. Uh, something that I fail to do which looking back i think i should have done more is networking meet more people in your in your uh, field in your industry in your community talk to more people ask them more questions learn from their experiences and try to get advice uh, so this is something looking back which i think i could have done better uh, but i would yeah this is something that i would like to share as well uh, akhil i think you gave some very valuable advice for the next generation of software engineers. And I agree with your point completely about being passionate about what you're doing, building, you know, building things that, uh, that contribute to society. And uh, that is very important now in this day and age. We are, a country has, is facing some challenges. So in this environment, you know, it is important for us to all come together and build a, rebuild our nation. So that is very, very, very advice and also i believe you said something very very correct and that is uh, it's very important to network and to be committed so your sacrifice the time that you have put into your education and uh, gaining that knowledge has benefited you today so you are you are in a you are able to achieve so much in such a short time because of what you 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 sacrifice a little bit in the start to to have a better future and they have achieved it. So that is a very valuable advice that you gave to our undergraduates and thank you for sharing that. So what are your future uh, aspirations, Akhil? Okay. I hope to stay in the software industry for the 
longest time I can think of. Um, as I said, I don't know the exact details, but what I'm following is I'm trying to follow uh, my heart. I'm trying to do things that I am interested in, and I'm trying to work on products that I feel are having a positive impact in the communities around us. Uh, so these are requirements, or these are the things I look for when I uh, am looking for the next step in my career progression. Is the things that I'm going to build, are they contributing to society in a positive way? Um, yes. So, uh, Akhil, finally, on behalf of the Java Institute, we would like to uh, thank you for uh, having this discussion with us today. And we wish you all the very best for your future. And we hope that you will uh, achieve everything that you desire and that you continue to grow uh, in knowledge and in uh, and be even more successful in the future. So thank you for joining us today. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Mirwan and Mr. Narmada for having me. And also thank you for Java Institute for giving me the opportunities and for yeah helping me to get to where I am today. So we are we are very happy with what you have, what we are very very happy with what you have achieved so far. So uh, all the best to you. Okay, thank you.